thing to say. Oh, because you don't like to feel better. <gasps> Good morning. Ah. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I look like I have a crazy hairdo right now. It's 6.25 a.m. So excuse me for not looking perfect, but um, I am so tired. I am a delusional sleeper. I don't know if anyone identifies as this, but like I literally will see things. I thought there was a hurricane in our house. I don't know. I've always had this since I was a kid. Some days I don't have it, some days it's really bad. I stepped on my glasses last night. I snapped those suckers in half. I got up because I thought electricity from the hurricane was falling down naturally and I think I like flung my glasses off of the bed because sometimes I fall asleep with them on me. Snapped. Snip snap. Gosh. But honestly they were kind of old. They were like really really fuzzy. Like scratchy. Um, and I bought them at Warby Parker and it would have been like just as much to replace the lens. So I was like whatever I'm just going to wear them as my nighttime glasses. And that's why. I cannot believe like I will show it to you later. Snap. In. Like I could like use it as a monocle, but anyways, I'm going for a walk with my friend Jess Bentley is beside me. Of course. I pre-ordered a coffee at the gym. I'm a smart cookie. And let's get the day started Welcome back to fit girl fall snitches. Don't forget to like and subscribe to YouTube channel and I'll get started Usually I wait to have coffee like an hour after I wake up because then I get like the midday sleepies But I'm not doing that today. So pray for me Okay, I'm propping you against my coffee, but my friend Jess is late. 6.33, ma'am. I called ahead to get my coffee. It's, I love a nice latte, vanilla, and uh, cinnamon. Too early. Um, and so now I'm just waiting for her. I look like I should be wearing a bonnet. Hey, it's me again. It is now noon, and I'm going to the gym. I have been doing this thing where I try to incorporate more just like mobility work um, which really I was not somebody that did this and just like work on my muscular imbalances like my right shoulder is weak so I try to do some exercises that just strengthen it um, my glutes are weak as well so I just don't feel like doing a full workout I filmed for like two hours yesterday and I did mostly upper body and then some legs so I was like today is my rest day like let's go sit in the sauna I usually do the stairs and then I'm just gonna do 15 minutes I'm gonna do things like clamshells leg lifts like little things that are just going to work on work on activating my glutes but I wanted to show you I just made this post on insta if you don't follow me on insta what you doing girl I wanted to show you the difference in these photos you can tell hopefully you can see it but look at this one can you see it can, can, can you see it you can kind of let me try it this one this one you can see. So I wanted to make a post on, obviously like when I was this uh, version of me, I was 10 pounds heavier and I ended up losing 10 pounds during an initial cut. And for someone that's 5'5", five five, that's quite significant. And then lately in Fit Girl Fall, I have not necessarily been in the process of wanting to like lose weight. I'm just wanting to build muscle and lose fat. So I wanted to do a whole post on just what body recomposition is because I feel like people get really discouraged on the scale. And I literally just weighed myself. Like probably my heaviest I was like 148 um, and then now I'm 140 so like I've slowly gained back a few more pounds from like my initial loss but I've been gaining muscle as well um, and I just feel like you can really see that and like I guess my point of this being is if you're someone that views the scale as success and if you get frustrated I tell all my girls that I train like 
go off of progress pictures, how your clothes fit, how you feel, because literally you could weigh the same, but look completely different. Like I had more fat on me, right? Where now I'm a lot more muscular. I have less body fat. Um, I kind of want to try one of those scales. My friend and I were talking about finding one. It's kind of hard on an island, but uh, I just wanted to see like what my body fat percentage is now. Um, but it's just something that like, I feel like too many girls worry about the scale and I'm guilty. So when I first started my fitness journey, I literally lost so much weight. And I was like, mm, why don't I look like her? And it was because I needed to put on muscle. So just be aware that the scale doesn't always equal success. Um, and for me, I personally think building muscle while losing fat is fantastic. But anyways, I just wanted to give you a little tidbit. So hopefully comment down below if that helped you. So I went online shopping today. I'm going to a New Orleans wedding in December and I was like, I have no clue what to wear. Actually, no, I can just show you here. Look at that. Imagine that New Orleans in December. How stunning. Slay the house down. Look at that. She was like, oh, get like a little shawl because it'll be cold. So I bought a like furry fake shawl off of Amazon. Um, this is so jabby, but like I had to tell somebody. I was so excited. I'm not gonna tell Michael, he's not gonna get it. Okay, I finished my activations. I'm gonna stare master and then sauna. If I did not film it. <laughs> Sorry. I look like a seal. I went back. One, I need to get my my camera stand. But in the meantime, enjoy not seeing my face. Two, one thing about me is I will make a coffee at 3 p.m. She'll be decaf, but really I just want an excuse to have creamer. And you know the creamer I love? I don't know if I love it, but I have it. I feel like it's not pumpkin-y enough, but it's a Starbucks pumpkin spice. So truly I'm having creamer, not coffee. Okay, I have to clean out the cold plunge. It broke, so we had to order a new part. Um, but do you ever, I just need to know. Comment down below. Do you ever just yell at your animal? You're so perfect. Like I just see Bentley and I'm like, you're just amazing, beautiful, smart, funny all the time. I am the biggest hype woman for that dog. And I think if I was to have children, I hope I'd be the biggest hype mom because I'm just like, you're perfect, beautiful, everything, smart, stunning. Even if he does bad things that gets in the trash, I'm still like, you're perfect. So it's definitely not ready. We had this lizard. Guys, it was so gross. So our friend was using our cold plunge when we were in Europe last year for like a few months when we were gone. And he was so nice that he emptied the cold plunge and cleaned it because he ordered his own cold plunge. He was just our neighbor and he was like, um, emptied it for you guys, like see you when you get back, whatever. <laughs> Well, we fill up our cold plunge. I don't know if I've already told this story, but we filled up our cold plunge. We're like, can't we just turn it on and get in the cold plunge? A, d a lizard crawled in it because he didn't close the top and it was dead. And it was like, oh my God, for months we had dead lizard guts coming out and we haven't used the cold plunge for probably like two weeks now because we had to order the, pro the part. And I'm not kidding you, guts still came out. Like, <sighs> It makes me want to vomit. I would never, I would take it to the grave before I tell him, and I can guarantee, oh, I don't like this. Once again, I don't like this. I feel like I'm having deja vu, but I would, what is deja vu? Because Wizards of Waverly Place told me a witch around you just went backwards in times. But anyways, I don't want to tell him because I don't want to make him feel bad, but I at the same time kind of want to warn him because He's been traveling for like six months, and I'm like, if you didn't close that cold plunge, dude, you've got a lot of lizards living in there, and they're about to get stuck. Mm-mm, sir. Mm-mm. 